this is Demerica with Demerica Light. And I've been putting this off for a while, but I don't want my sorrel to all go to flower and I mean not to get anything. So we're gonna go out here to the sorrel, which is taller than I am, and we're gonna pick it. Let's go. Excuse me, Philomena. Oh boy. They're big. They're huge. <laughs> Still a little warm out here. This morning it was cool though, it was about 55 degrees. So let's get in there. I got a whole bunch of sorrel. Whole bunch. Flowers are pretty. Well, I need to get some of them for myself. I don't know if the bees like them or not. <laughs> Not sure. You just pick, pick, pick. They're everywhere. Look at that. Do I have a mosquito? Something's biting me. I feel like the sorrel is saying, let me go. <laughs> let me go. I'd have to come out here for another trip because my thing is getting full. Getting full. My pockets runneth over. <laughs> They're so pretty. Pretty, pretty. What are you doing, girl? Why are you always looking at them? Huh? Get all the big one in their mouth. This one is wrapped around the fella. Come on, now. Nah. Don't want to break it, but. Get it all off. Uh oh. Ah, oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Look at that one. Almost as big as my hand. All right, I think I stripped that one pretty much. Of all the big ones. Let's see. It's sorrel season. <laughs> Everybody's picking sorrel. Mine did it particularly well this year. Um, four plants, and I have. Well, my 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 kangaroo pouch is full. Let me fix you. So let's get some more. We're right here. I'm only taking off the big ones. See that? Uh, let's 
so many birds around here. Or rabbits, I don't know what's going to do here since they're moving. This thing is tall. so tall, huh? Come on. Y'all still see me? <laughs> I guess the ones that are exposed to the sun are actually bigger. Some of them are small, like the ones on the bottom. See the difference? The ones that are exposed to the sun are way bigger, way bigger. So I just want to show you how huge these are in comparison to me. It's way up here. And the ones that are on top are the ones that have the bigger pods. See that? See this? Last year, growing them in a container, they did not do this good. This year I have so many. I'm not sure if it was the bone meal and blood meal I put down when I planted them. Because I only fertilized them one time. One time and this is what I got. And this is where the turnips were um, all winter, almost into spring. Remember, it was right here. All I did was add bone meal and blood meal. I don't know. Yeah, blood meal and bone meal. I'm not sure if I put 10, 10, 10. I don't think so though. Here we go. Just taking the bigger ones off because I don't want them to go to flower. Yeah. Look at that. I want you to see it. Look at huge. That's the ones I want. That is the ones I want. Just before they start flowering. I'm also taking the ones this size though. I don't come out here every day, so I should, but I don't. Here's some more. Soil season. Now I have, this bag is heavy because inside this flower, there's this pod, right? You gotta get this thing out. You dry it out and dry it out. I, know, I think I, I'm just gonna lay them out and dry, but I take this out. Dry is easier. I had some that had it in there and I'm afraid they're gonna go to mold. I was, in a, I was in, a, in the mood to do what I was supposed to do. It's had this thing is getting heavy, but once they dry out, they dry down and it'll be, it'll be really light when they dry out. Let's move on to this one. We went through, what, two plants so far. Here's the other one. These are all going to flower. I gotta get these out of here. Gotta get these out of here. <clears throat> There's so many on here, man. Oh, America, why you wait so long? <laughs> They're growing wild. So many, I don't know how how to pick them all. Organize, girl, organize. to my hand.
All right. My basket is full. <laughs> it's getting heavy. So let's go inside and see how much I have, all right? I waited a long time to get a harvest like this, but it was worth it. And I still have all of that left. There are flowers that are that are blooming, but I'll let the, the bees get that. But the rest of them, you know, I will go ahead and harvest for tea. It's not just tea. Sorrel, this sorrel must know I'm West Indian or I have West Indian blood. Um, sorrel is a drink, but usually we, we put uh, Ray and Nephew in it and some, well, I use, um, what is that Manischewitz? We make it out of a drinky drink. I, well, I do, and a lot of other people do. I don't know. Most well, some people think that it's you know a tea, and that's good for you. This is a Christmas drink, and you're supposed to be festive. <laughs> okay, we're in. Let's see what we have. I'm gonna show you this. This is a book that we use in our house. Um, a lot of West Indians have this in their house. So don't make fun of me, West Indian. You know your mama got one. <laughs> Your mama. <laughs> Here we are. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Do, 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 do. Now that there is a harvest. We got a couple of leaves in here. Make sure to get everything out. Sprawl it out. Yeah. Almost a half a table. I have one that I picked apparently had a flower on it, so I'll take that one out and take these leaves out. But yeah, this is what I'm working with. And this is not even the half of it. I got a quarter of a table. This thing was heavy, so yeah. My hands are, are dirty, dirty from picking this stuff. Move this out the way. Let's go over the recipe, okay? Since I was just willy-nilly giving you vague, a vague um, <laughs> direction on how to make sorrel. So we just finished harvesting our sorrel and I'm gonna dry them out. I'm just gonna open it up. I'm gonna wash them, of course, first. And then I'm gonna open them up and harvest the leaves and dry them out. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna put it in a, I think I'm gonna put it in a paper bag once I get the leaves off. This is the part that you want. Let me get a small one. I don't wanna disturb that one. Here's one that I'm not gonna, probably not gonna use. So usually there's a little seed in the middle. See that? You see that? We want this. We want this part. We don't necessarily want that, okay? Let's go on to the recipe. I'm so happy. Now, this is the book that I use. It's called A Real Taste of Jamaica. Um, we have it in my house and I've seen it in a lot of West Indian or Jamaican houses. It's just a baseline for a lot of the food. Every family cooks things differently or does things differently. So what she has in here, Miss Dawson, Donaldson, this, this is an old book. I mean, this book has been around. You could tell it's 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 been around for a little while, and I got, must have got it wet because it's stuck together. This book has been was published early. Let me see. Published. Well, I'd like to thank the following. Let me see when it was published. Nineteen ninety three. Yeah, nineteen ninety three. All copies and photos. Yeah. So let's go to where the sorrel is. I hope I remember the page. I think it's 242. Yep, sorrel. So let me tell you their recipe. She has two in this book. Um, I think one has um, alcohol in it and the other one doesn't. So if, if you don't drink, I'm going to give you the the alcoholic version, or I'll give you the non-alcoholic version, and then I'll give you the one that we normally drink. <laughs> so three cups of pick sorrel, okay? Ready to draw, all right? A lot of West Indians not only use the fresh sorrel, but they use the dried one, because a dried one, you know that dried um, herbs or dried flowers are stronger. 
because they, you know, they, they, they don't, they're not as big as this. They shrink down to nothing. So we use a dry one most of the time, but since I'm growing, I'm going to use the fresh one. So three cups of picked sorrel after you get the seed out, like I just showed you earlier, right? After you get it to look like this, right? Um, let's see. Um, one inch of ginger root. Get your ginger root. Ginger root is good for you. One inch. Make sure you take a spoon and scrape the ginger root. That's the easiest way to peel it and you don't lose a lot. You just take the spoon and you drag it across and the skin comes off. Don't, I wouldn't, I always peel it. This is a ground, this is a, this has been in the ground. All right, this is coming from the ground and not your ground. <laughs> um, 12 whole cloves. Here we are. Three pimento leaves. I don't have any pimento leaves. Pimento leaves are allspice leaves. All I have is allspice. So get about, I don't know, I just grab a handful and throw it in there. All right. Five cups of boiling water. One quarter pound of brown sugar or sweetened to taste. And it says add sorrel, ginger, cloves, spice leaves and wrap to rapidly boiling water. So the water is already boiling prior to you adding all of these things. Why'd I put cumin out here? I don't know what, what I was thinking about. All of these things in there. Okay. I also add bay leaf, but that's just me. Right. Prior to this, bring it to a broiling ro rolling boil. Keep on the fire fire and allow to boil. After it boils and it turns, I always check to see if it turns red. If it's not red enough for me, I just keep it boiling. After it gets red enough, because sorrel is supposed to be red in color. It's a red drink. It looks like um, it's darker than red Kool-Aid. So I don't know what to compare it to, but it's it's supposed to look this color. Okay? Um after it, you bring it to a rolling boil and it starts, it turns red like this or close to this. Then you let it simmer for four minutes, strain and sweeten it, and then bottle it. That is the non-alcoholic version. That's the type that you give to your children. Okay. okay. One more time. Three cups of pick, uh, pick sorrel, one inch of ginger root, 12 cloves, a handful of, of allspice. Um, oh, Four cinnamon leaves. I must left that out. I don't have cinnamon leaves, so I use cinnamon. I I, I don't get the, and I don't use the powdered cinnamon. I use the pot the the cinnamon sticks. I know I was forgetting something. Um, I use the cinnamon sticks. So I just crack up about what I think is about a half a tablespoon of of sticks. If you're using the powder, just put like a um, I'd say an eighth because cinnamon is really strong an eighth of a teaspoon okay and five cups of boiling water and then you sweeten the taste with some brown sugar she recommends a half a pound of brown sugar one more time three cups of sorrel one inch of ginger 12 cloves a small hand of, of um, allspice some cinnamon a, if you're using the powder a quarter teaspoon just a little bit because it'll take over the flavor and you won't you won't like it all right and then you get five cups of boiling water. You boil it until it turns this color. Here we are. <laughs> and you're done. You let it simmer. And then you wait till it cools off on the stove. And then you bottle it. Usually I drop a couple more of these in the, in the top of the bottle. So that, they, you know, it can continue. I think that this adds to the flavor. Not much, but it adds to the flavor and it helps it out. So let's get to the one for the uh, grown-ups. So her recipe says three pounds of sorrel. And that's fresh sorrel. Fresh sorrel is heavy. If you're using the dried kind, mm, I don't know what to tell you. It's not going to be three pounds. Cut that and down to about, I don't know, a bag full. Because they sell them by the bags, okay? One inch of ginger root. <clears throat> Twelve cloves. Five, um, okay, five pimento leaves, five uh, allspice leaves, or four green grain of pimentos. 
So don't use too much of this. Four of these. Maybe I should have told I use more than that, but she said that. Six cinnamon leaves. We don't have cinnamon leaves, so put just a little bit of cinnamon because you're going you're gonna to have to taste this thing as you go along. If you have the grated cinnamon, use very little, an eighth of a teaspoon. Do not, I will put less than that, a little bit of cinnamon because cinnamon is strong. If you have the cinnamon sticks, then you just break up the stick and then you can put it in there. I use like a, one of the smaller sticks, um, maybe the size of my finger, so about three inches. I break it up. I don't grind it. I break it up and throw it in there. Um, six pints of boiling water. Cause so we're gonna make a big pot. Cause this is for the grown ups. You know we're gonna be drinking, right? Um, a half a cup of overproof proof rum. If you can find it, we use Ray and Nephew. People call it White Lightning. If you can't find that, use white rum, the clear kind. Do not use the dark rum. You don't want the 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 spice rum. You don't want anything. You want the clear. If you get Bacardi, just get the clear one, the white one. We call it white, but it's clear. The one that Jamaican use is called White Lightning. Excuse me, Ray and Nephew. Ray and Nephew. That's what you're looking for. That's Jamaican rum. And if you drink that. Don't be, don't drive. Okay. That's overproof room rum. That's over, that's why we call it white lightning. Um, so a half a cup of overproof rum optional, um, and a half of, of a pound of granulated sugar. This time she didn't say, um, put brown, brown sugar in there. Uh, and then a teaspoon of lime juice and a teaspoon of rice. The rice is going to give it, give it that a little bit of fizz and it's going to add to, um, it's going to give it some yeast to make it a little zingy. So she takes the leaves off. She washes this. She takes the leaves off, get, gets that seed out, throw that away. And she gets, gets this and pours boiling water over all of the ingredients with the exception of the alcohol. The alcohol is last. Pour boiling water, cover with cloth and set aside for 24 hours. So all you're doing, that's what I do. When I, I boil it, I don't pour the boiling water. I actually boil it and leave it on the stove overnight. I don't touch it for, until the next day. Okay. A teaspoon of rice can be put in the sorrel to speed up fermentation. Fermentation is going to give it that little bit of fuzz. That little bit of soda, soda you know, the, 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 the fizzy taste. Uh, strain and sweeten the gra with, with granulated sugar and, a lime, and add in lime juice. You may also add rum at this point. Bottle and chill. This is Jamaica with Jamaica Life. Sorrel is actually good for you. But you would have to look that up. Anyway, this is the book that I'm using. These are the, There are two books that I'm using. Let me move that flower. This one is called A Taste of Jamaica. And I just covered a little bit of this. Try it. It doesn't last long in this house with alcohol or without. This is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. I thank you guys for being with me and go ahead and plant your soul. You see how prolific it is? <laughs> I love this plant. I love it. It did so much better this year. I thank you guys for being with me and I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all.